Apple recently announced its new chip family for its M3 lineup, the latest addition to its in-house silicon family. At the same time, Qualcomm has launched its new flagship Snapdragon X Elite chipset, promising performance gains over competitors. Both processors aim to push the boundaries of power efficiency and raw processing capability in mobile devices, but how do these two silicons stack up against each other? Let's take a detailed look at the specifications and benchmarks of the Apple M3 versus the Snapdragon X Elite. Did you know that 72% of visitors are more likely to make their purchases soon after watching a product video? This makes it necessary to have a product demonstration or promo video for showcasing your product's potential values and benefits. At Product Video Studio, we are equipped with camera gear, tools, and most importantly, expertise to make your video captivating and engaging. Just send your products and we'll handle the rest. Contact us today to create something amazing together. The M3 chip is built on TSMC's impressive 3nm process node, an improvement over the 5nm design used for previous M2 chip. The M3 features an 8-core CPU and up to a 10-core GPU. In comparison, the Snapdragon X Elite uses a 4nm TSMC manufacturing process and contains a 12-core CPU based on Qualcomm's new Orion architecture. Qualcomm claims these performance cores can reach peak speeds of 4.3 GHz. Comparatively, Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite is built on a 4nm TSMC process and features the company's new Orion CPU with one ultra-high performance core, four high-performance cores, and seven efficiency cores, including the integrated Adreno GPU based on official announcements. Also, the M3's 10-core GPU promises double the graphics power of the M2 chip. Both chipsets integrate 5G models for cellular connectivity. According to Qualcomm, the Snapdragon X Elite delivers over 30% higher efficiency than Apple's M2 chip. Benchmarks also indicate the Snapdragon has a clear lead in multi-core performance over the new base M3 chip. In Geekbench tests, the Snapdragon X Elite scored 15,130 points in the multi-core test at 80 watts TDP. In comparison, the M3 chip registered 11,211 points in the same benchmark at an unspecified TDP. For single-core performance, the M3 achieved a score of 3,163 points, which is slightly better than the Snapdragon's 2,940 points. Even when limited to 23 watts TDP, the Snapdragon managed 40,000 multi-core points, demonstrating its competitive multi-thread prowess. While the M3 chip surpasses the regular Snapdragon X Elite in single-core tests, Qualcomm's flagship comes extremely close to Apple's M3 Pro variant. So, the Snapdragon X Elite proves it can hold its own against Apple's latest silicon in both power efficiency and raw processing power. Of course, synthetic benchmarks are one thing, but real-world usage often matters more. Although independent testing is not yet available, Qualcomm promises much faster CPU and GPU speeds over the prior Snapdragon chip generation. Apple also highlights doubling the M3's power efficiency and graphics performance versus the M2 processor. Based on these numbers, both chipmakers are delivering substantial generational improvements. But the Snapdragon X Elite contains up to 64GB of fast LPDDR5X RAM with 136GB per second bandwidth compared to the M3's maximum of 24GB of unified memory. More RAM can help boost multitasking speeds on Android devices, so in real-world use, the performance gap may be a bit closer. The M3 processor integrates Apple's latest technologies like mesh shading, and they also brought ray tracing accelerated GPU for the first time. Similarly, the Snapdragon X Elite contains Qualcomm's integrated AI engine and beefed-up computer vision engine. Both chipsets also provide hardware and video encoding slash decoding engines, but Qualcomm highlights AV1 codec support on the Snapdragon 4 enhanced video streaming with lower bandwidth. And only the Snapdragon X Elite offers MM Wave 5G connectivity for the fastest possible cellular data speeds. Apple announced the M3 chip this October and stated the first M3 MacBook Pro models will launch on November 7, 2023. In contrast, Qualcomm is not expected to ship the Snapdragon X Elite until sometime in 2024, according to reports. In many aspects, the Apple M3 chip and Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite represent the best mobile silicon the respective manufacturers can currently design. 
With its monolithic architecture and 3 nanometer fabrication, the M3 promises power efficiency and single core performance leaps. But the Snapdragon X Elite's higher core counts and impressive Orion CPU gives it a multi-thread processing edge. Qualcomm's chip also appears to be more effective for intense workloads at higher TDPs. It's still speculative whether the Snapdragon can match or exceed the M3's performance in real-world scenarios based on current information. So what's your opinion on these new flagship chips from Apple and Qualcomm? Let us know in the comment section down below.